It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Jody Biasi of the Locked On Sabres podcast. Butcher Box has all you need for a tasty, stress-free holiday season with high-quality protein delivered to your door. Sometimes the best gifts are the ones you give yourself, and Butcher Box is here to help you treat yourself to more delicious, wholesome meals. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash NHL and use the code NHL to get free chicken wings for a year. That's three pounds of free-range organic chicken wings free in every order for a year. When you sign up at butcherbox.com, com slash NHL and use the code NHL. Another week of fantasy hockey dominance in the books and a lot more to tap into to make sure you keep your team at the top of the table. Red Wings, are they for real? McDavid on a surge. Can the Edmonton Oilers make a run? And speaking of which, wild on the rise. Friday's bets, lots to get to. Thank you for joining us for the Friday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Let's get this money. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We got that Friday feeling rolling today on the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And thank you so much for making us your first listen every single day. We hope that we're bringing the fire fantasy news and breakdowns that you need to take your team over the top. Steele and I are here for another jam-packed episode, one in which we're taking a look at a couple of different teams on the rise. The Detroit Red Wings, Patty Kane making his debut last night at home. I believe the Patrick Kane jerseys are selling like hotcakes down there in in Southern Michigan steel. So we're going to have to take a look at if this team is for real, because there are some indications that perhaps it could be Connor McDavid on a heater. When this happens, the Edmonton Oilers go, but it's not only him who's clicking right now. Zach Hyman and Stuart Skinner also playing well. We'll take a look at some of those pieces and we can't come on here with the Minnesota Wild starting to look pretty good, Steel. Since Dean Everson was fired, I need your take. Was it the coach? What's going on in Mini? Because now all of a sudden, maybe a wild card bubble spot is very much in reach in the division in Friday. We're breaking down the big time betting board. Steel, right over to you, my friend. By the way, only three games on tonight's NHL betting board, but that's okay. I have a same game parlay ready to ride. Over to you, my friend. The Detroit Red Wings, obviously in the news quite a bit. Patrick Kane, you know, we don't know the results of his debut yet, but we do know this. That Red Wings team is very much in a play in, in the playoff picture in that division, and they're looking pretty good up front. I have questions, though, about that blue line and about the goaltending. Yeah, you know, they are looking pretty good, and getting a, a, a talent of Patrick Kane's status is obviously incredible for them moving forward. It's the Steve Eiserman plan underway in full effect right now but they've been great to start the season uh third in the atlantic division right behind the florida panthers only six points back of the boston bruins they're you know we talked about the goaltending situation they've got they're riding three goaltenders right now yeah. and it's working for them alex lyon's been a huge surprise in the crease who's mm-hmm. been undeniable so far the last uh, five games uh, or the last stretch of games that he's uh, that he started for. I've always liked James Reimer as a backup goaltender who can control the crease. Uh, and he always gives you 110%. He never gives up on any single play. So I've always liked him as a backup goaltender. But you really do want Billy Huso to be that number one guy, obviously, at the end of the season come playoff time. But if you've got three goalies that you can – uh, that you can rely on, you're confident with. I say keep rolling with it because it's working mm-hmm. right now for the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. Um, that being said, uh, you know I want to hear your take on the defensemen uh, sure. because I actually really like the defensive group that that they've got so far. Maybe yeah. they can make uh, a couple of changes uh, come March. But w- what I really want to talk about uh, for the Detroit Red Wings again, if if come March or you know come the end of the season, they're in a playoff spot. Yeah. I think they're going to have to address their bottom six group. Uh, For me, the bottom six group um, has been a little bit uh, underwhelming, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Andrew Kopp's been a little bit better, but not great the entire season. I thought I I expected a little bit more from Daniel Sprong, honestly, from what he did last year with the Seattle Kraken. Yeah, he's been hot So for me, I love the top six group. I love... 
I love Robbie Fabry when he's healthy. We've talked about him a little bit. Joe Valeno mm-hmm. centering Patrick Kane and Debrinket might give yeah. him a couple of uh, uh, good looks as well, even on fantasy leagues that Joe Valeno could be a guy that you could look to if they start getting hot. But this is a caliber. This is a playoff caliber team, in my opinion. I talked about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when we did our preseason predictions on who we had in, in making the playoffs. I had five Atlantic teams making the postseason this year, and I thought it was going to be the Buffalo Sabres. Probably not going to be. It's most likely going to be the Detroit Red Wings with the Mm. way they're playing. Interesting that it is Joey Valeno getting that look up the middle, but I guess because of Andrew Kopp and his, you know, his relative disappointment. Also, Steele, in terms of that bottom six, which is an interesting point because on paper headed into this season, a lot to like about the additions that they made, including Daniel Sprung, but maybe it's just a little bit of too much new energy in there because a bottom six group, especially a fourth line unit, they really got to form some chemistry and grind together in the limited ice time that they have. And we've even seen it with the Toronto Maple Leafs as a little bit of an example, bringing in guys like Ryan Reeves into their bottom six. Everyone thought that was going to be an immediate fit. It's taken time for him to fit in as well. So I think there's something to be said about I think the Detroit Red Wings had the most new faces brought in. Now they bring in Patrick Kane. So there is a lot of getting used to each other still to happen. We're not even at the halfway mark of this season. So Alex Dabrinkit and Patrick Kane playing together. Obviously, this is what everyone's talking about. This is what everyone's looking at. And for good reason. So can this, I think the most important takeaway here is, is that this Detroit Red Wings team was doing this and getting it done without Patrick Kane. You're looking at his numbers last year, combined split between Chicago and New York, 21 goals, 36 assists, 227 shots on net. So if that was with a banged up hip, I can only assume that he's coming back ready to go (laughs) steal at 100%. That combined with all the obvious facts that everyone's covered so nicely, Let's see if this can do even more things. And my last point here is Detroit sitting with the ninth best power play unit tied for the ninth best power play unit already in the league. You know, he's going to be out there on that power play one, or at least getting significant time, call whatever unit, the number one unit you want to call it. So that's where I think you're going to see him really settle in and make this Detroit offense click. We're both betting on them quite a bit right now for obvious reasons. Speaking of which, the Edmonton Oilers. We're going to talk about them. We're going to keep this episode short and sweet and tight steel. We're going to talk about your Minnesota Wild as well. And a quick little Friday big time betting segment. But today's episode, my friends, is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die. You'll always find exactly what you're looking for and with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash, baby. And with all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP to bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit only available to U.S. customers. This is David Harrison of the Locked On Commanders podcast to draw your attention to the taste that's going down in the bread aisle. All thanks to Dave's Killer Bread, Bread Amplified. Anyone can bake bread, few can rock it, and Dave's Killer Bread is the champion of killer taste, killer texture, and is for those who want to rise above the boring. Organic and healthy doesn't have to mean boring when it's made with the highest quality organic and non-GMO ingredients packed with whole grains, fiber, and protein. 21 Whole Grains and Seeds Bread has a subtle sweetness and a seed-coated crust, while good seed products are the boldest and sweetest of all. Dave's Killer Bread was built on the belief that second chances can change lives Because after spending 15 years in prison, not only did the guy with the guitar you see on every loaf turn his own life around, he's helping others to do the same. By hiring the best people for the job, regardless of their background, he's ensuring your mornings no longer taste like cardboard, your taste buds don't have to feel sedated, and your sandwiches can become superstars. Visit daveskillerbread.com to learn more and look for Dave's Killer Bread in the bread aisle of your favorite grocery store. 
And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. You have to go check out, check out the Locked On Podcast Network. They have launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Day is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So go to Locked On Sports today on YouTube. Subscribe to the first ever National Sports 24 streaming channel. And thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. We're going to talk about the Edmonton Oilers very soon. Mm. We're going to get to big time bets and those Minnesota Wild that I love so, so much. Mm -hmm. The two hottest teams in the NHL right now. Wild on a four-game winning streak. Oilers on a five-game winning streak. Both started off very, very slow uh, in the month of October. But they've been picking up steam. They're climbing up. They're climbing up every single inch in the Western Conference right now, trying to get into a playoff spot and yep. hold on to it. But let's talk about those Edmonton Oilers because they have been red hot since they fired mm. Jay Woodcroft. Connor McDavid is back to Connor McJesus. Um, mm. You know, Zach Hyman, who's missed the last couple of games, he's got he's been great. He got a hat trick the other day. So let's talk about them. I'll throw it over to you. Where do you sure. want to start with? Connor McDavid. Mm. Um, so you know, they've just been yeah. great. Yeah, no, and I think the main, the main, I look at it this threefold, and we'll talk about it quickly. It's Connor McDavid on a heater. Stuart Skinner's found his game, and they've sorted out the defensive system madness. They're starting to actually play pretty good in their own zone. And when you combine all the things, Steel, there's, this wasn't rocket science why this team was losing games. Connor McDavid and Dreisaitl were struggling. They couldn't figure out the new defensive system, and they couldn't get a save. You're not the fact that they even had as many wins as they had when all of those things were going critically wrong is kind of impressive. So now this team has righted the ship. Yeah, are they going to make a real run? I don't know, but they've righted the ship and wins against the Las Vegas Golden Knights, Winnipeg Jets, and Carolina Hurricanes. Say what you will about the first two against Washington and Anaheim. Those are three good teams that they just beat. And of course, and this is where I think we should start and probably focus on, aside from Stuart Skinner. Connor McDavid over the last five games has been him, his magical self. You know me with these numbers, Steele. I think it's 20 points, but don't hold me that. It's 20 or 21. 14 assists. 14 14 assists in the last five games. Okay. Hey, so there you go. 14 assists plus a couple (laughs) of goals. He's on a heater. So this is how this team is going to go. They also... Knowing how many tires were kicked over adding some bodies into that blue crease or wherever, if this team does actually continue to show signs of having a real pulse, I think you're going to see Kenny Holland making a serious, serious play for some bodies. Yeah, and that's something that we've talked about and many people have talked about that they're going to have to look forward to uh, in the near future. Obviously, Stuart Skinner's playing a little bit better, but I still think the goaltending is going to be an issue. I also read the other day that they're expected to give Jack Campbell another chance in the NHL, Uh so maybe he makes a return to the Edmonton Oilers organization Uh and he can get back to his form from a couple of seasons ago. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that if Jack Campbell does come back up and what it means for Stuart Skinner as well. Stuart Skinner has a 943 save percentage while winning his last five straight, including a shutout. Is this going to be sustainable? Is this winning streak sustainable? I tend to think that maybe they can actually continue to string games together in terms of winning. I don't know if this kid is going to be able to hold down this impressive uh, streak, but if he's even 75% of it steal, it's so much better than what he was at the start of the year. And it's just enough, I think, for this team to at least punch a ticket to the playoffs. And then you really never know when you have McDavid and Dreisaitl. And lastly, and the last guy in this graphic who, like you alluded to, has potentially been, you know, their most, well, he has been their most consistent production piece this year in Zach Hyman. And man, wouldn't it like not to just bring it back to the Leafs, but wouldn't it be nice to have Zach Hyman in blue and white, the right blue and white still, because the guy can just get it done at both ends of the ice and clearly steal his energy and his work ethic. You know, he just is a hound on that puck has really kept this Edmonton Oilers team in a lot of games this year that they probably should have been out of. Workhorse, and he does all the little things and all the dirty things that get their team 
uh, that makes their team win games. You know, we saw it the other day when he's when he got that hat trick. Obviously, a couple of big plays from Connor McDavid setting him up. Um, but Zach Hyman is a workhorse. He does all the things a coach wants out of their players, and he does it without mm-hmm. hesitation, without question. He's always in the corners for the puck. He's always in front of the net, digging for those rebounds. Uh, you know, looking for the deflections. He's just one of those guys that you know he got away. The Leafs let him slip away when they when they should have mm-hmm. paid him uh, the amount he was looking for. I would I would have loved. Uh, to, to keep Zach Hyman on the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, and that goes to the next question, honestly, here is, um, you know, you, you you sent this to me before we hopped on here, but who who is the most valuable player on the Edmonton Oilers besides Connor McDavid and mm-hmm. obviously Leon Dreisaitl as well? Yeah, the, th- the point can be made though, right? Because even with... I would say Dreisaitl's struggle. You could he struggles this season. Of course, they're their two stars. They're their two best players. But this year, Zach Hyman has been right there as their most important piece. That's been clear. And I just want to bring up these Stanley Cup odds for fun because you know I'm always about that lifesteal. The Edmonton Oilers are paying plus 1,800 right now as well. So that's a juicy little bit of information. I'm not saying to go out there and bet on it. But right now, I'm just going to say, if they continue to play that the way that they're playing, that number is going to drop drastically. And actually, when you look at a couple of other yeah. teams in this mix, Maple Leafs at plus 1,100, Dallas Stars at plus 1,200, you can't help but feel that a couple of more wins in this Oilers odd is going to be right back into that realm. And lastly, just to round it back out with this Connor McDavid point, the fact that he is starting to heat up is important, but he really does need to shoot the puck a lot more. And last year is when you saw him do that. But look, last three games, five shots total combined. That's not enough for me for a guy who clearly last year, 352 shots, bit of a coming out party for shooting. And it worked a league high 64 goals. This is what has to happen for Connor McDavid to get back to that level. He was at last year, 153 points. So, I just need him to shoot the puck more. The Edmonton Oilers are on the rise, very much (laughs) still alive, very much like another team that we should talk about right about now in your Minnesota Wild. Well, I'm actually going to have to disagree with you on the Connor McDavid uh, standpoint here that he needs to shoot the puck, uh, shoot the puck a little bit more. Obviously, you want him to shoot the puck. But I think right now with what he's doing, he's able to find his teammates and make the plays himself and and really get his teammates into into the game uh sure. with, with with his passing ability so right now i just think he shots so far this year is enough fine but i get you 100 percent. it's not enough yeah I, I agree with you on that point but i think his game is is really his speed and his passing ability and mm. that's what he does best and he's able to find those find his teammates no matter where they are and through mm. any seam he can pass it through someone's uh, skate blade if he really had to that's how good he is so for me I, yeah i agree with you he definitely needs to keep shooting the puck but mm. what I really wanted to see from him and continue to do so is him finding his teammates, passing, getting those plays where he can get his teammates into the proper position and feed them the puck. His speed and his creativity is definitely doing that right now. And it's almost so good that, and I'm here for this take, is these goals that he's creating for his line mates, for his teammates, are almost shoe in, tap in, gimmies. That's how much work he's doing. That's how much speed and attention he draws from the defense. So, Anyway, I'm here for it. Look, it, you know, it's what he does best. But if last year he's shooting more and he scores 64, the most in his career, I think we could have a conversation about this a little bit more. But I'd rather save our minutes for another talking point steal in the Minnesota Wild. You want to go to break and come back and we'll do it all at the end? Or what do you want to do here? You, you, you take it away, brother. Yeah, we'll get over to big time bets because that's the two games that we're looking at or the one game that we just talked about, Edmonton Oilers and the Minnesota Wild. Perfect. Some of the two hottest teams in the NHL facing off on Friday night. We'll talk about the Minnesota Wild very, very quickly with those big time bets. But this episode is also brought to you by FanDuel. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay hot on FanDuel. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 in bonus bets if your team wins. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, which both Flip and I urge you to do, there's no better time to get into the action than right now. The app is so easy to use and safe to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and of course, 
our fan favorite on the show, the same game parlays, the big flip mm. triple dip is what we oh. like to call it here. So oh. visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and kick off the NFL season, right? FanDuel official partner of the NFL. Hey everyone, Chris from Locked On Avalanche here. If you like using debit over credit, I just learned about something that's definitely a game changer. Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases, which means you can get cash back on NHL tickets or head-to-toe hockey gear to make this season a total win. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit the subscribe button, leave a follow, and a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us every single day on the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And just thank you so much for all the feedback, all the comments on the YouTube channel. We really do appreciate it. Flip, I, I'm ready to get mm. over to big time bets, and I can talk about the Minnesota Wild mm-hmm. as I make those bets, but I do mm-hmm. want to hear from you first in your three picks because there is three games on the schedule. I was yep. looking at each game very, very carefully, and sure. I found it a little bit hard to pick, yeah. you know, uh, some money line bets here. Yeah. But Most I want to hear your takes first uh, sure. and, and your three picks. Well, first of all, I'm going a little bit. You did this the other night and you went a little bit with your gut. I'm going to do the same. I'm still going to reel off some numbers, though, because. Look, this Minnesota Wild team has looked a lot better, and I know uh, firing a coach doesn't always work, but right now it seems to be working, and I don't think it really matters to Minnesota Wild fans or to Billy Guerin in that front office. You know, I got to shout out my boy Billy G. If or how this team turns it around, and they've turned it around a little bit. They're playing a lot better. I love to see Matt Boldy go because I really do think, of course, the obvious statement, Kirill Kaprizov, everybody knows that's their guy and that's the guy that's going to have to lead them. But I think he needs almost just as important to his success, someone to be able to also shoulder that offensive load to allow him to do his thing, right? He can be a bit of a streaky scorer. So to see Matt Boldy start to find confidence and go, I think that might be honestly a bit of the key to this whole thing, Steele. So I'll just say that, but, the Minnesota Wild have a 9-1 and one record in their last 10 games against the Edmonton Oilers. So for you to hear that my first bet is Oilers on the money line might not make a whole lot of sense. But the Oilers at home have taken a lot of wins over the last couple of years. And I like Edmonton in this spot. It's a gut feeling because obviously a 9-1 and one record steal is hard to go against. And I'll throw out my second pick before I hit you with my lock. Over in this situation, head-to-head has gone over the number in six of the last nine games head-to-head between the Wild and the Oilers, including the most recent matchup, which produced 11 total goals and a seven-piece from the Minnesota Wild. So I'll just bring up those two facts. I will be same game parling them all together with my lock of the night, which I'll spit off after you hit me with your take. You're back on mute, brother. The mute button. The new button continues He's to get back. the best of me here. But what I what, what I said there was I think we're gonna have our third or fourth side bet because yep. I'm going with the trend on this For one. Sure. Like you said, the wild have won nine out of their last 10 games. Uh again, two hottest teams in the NHL right now, besides the Arizona Coyotes, who have also won five in a row. But mm-hmm. I'm going with the wild on the money line. The trend says so. Uh I also agree with the over, but it's not one of my picks. But I am taking the wild sure. on the money line. Uh, and I just really like both teams are, are playing really well right now. So it is a coin toss, I think. Yeah. But when you look at the trend that they've won yep. nine out of the Can't last 10, that one. I'm going with the wild on the money line. I'm also, uh, I, I, I believe uh, I also told you I was going Kaprizov anytime goal. Mm. I actually switched it okay. to Kaprizov anytime assist after looking into the, into the, uh, the numbers a little bit more All in right. seven or eight like games it. against the Edmonton Oilers. He's, he only scored he's only scored one goal so far but he does have 11 assists in those seven games so I'm going I'm switching I'm switching over to the anytime assist for Kirill Kaprizov that's going to be my lock of the night mm. and then just my final pick I'm going with Carter Verhage anytime assist as well in his matchup you know how much I love Carter Verhage it wrote a little piece on Evan Rodriguez and touched on the <laughs> Florida Panthers my boy goes off for a four piece so I'm feeling that as well steel before I hit you with my final bet and my lock of the night for this same game parlay. I just want to hit you with a bit of take on this Minnesota wild situation, because as much as I said about Matt Boldy and as much as they are playing better, 
They've beat, they've have wins against the St. Louis Blues, Nashville Predators, Chicago Blackhawks, and Calgary Flames. The Calgary Flames win, and I know all of those were actually pretty neat and tidy performances. I believe the first three, they held all of their opponents to one goal in each game. So those are impressive performances, but against that competition, I'll take it with a grain of salt for now. Can they hold it down? Can Philip Gustafson continue to play better? Because I think that's the real question here, along with uh, Matt Boldy's uh, continued success. So I'll say that, those two things, because this team's power play is very mediocre. The penalty kill has been also middle of the pack so-so. Yeah. So I think the special teams has been a big reason for this team's lack of success so far. But maybe the new coach can also re-inject some life into that. Connor McDavid on that heater. You know I'm going right back to the well, baby Steel. Why can't we not keep betting on Crosby and McDavid props? They keep going. And, you know, I'm going to take over 1.5 points because there's no way any time point is out there at any kind of valuable odd at all. Not worth it. So let's go over 1.5 any time points as my lock of the night. I expect a high-scoring game. I could see one goal, two assists for McJesus easy. I'm really loving this one. Love the same game parlay. This should be a great game as well, Steel, as you teed it up nicely. The two hottest teams arguably in the NHL should be a good one, but that's my same game parlay for Friday night. Well, your same game parlay from just a couple of days ago with the LA Kings hit went three for three. So maybe it goes three for three again, but we do have that side bet. You've got Oilers on the money line. Tenor I've on got it. the Wild Tenor. on the money line. So we'll have to Yeah, every time, every okay. time, every like time it. there's a side bet, it's a tenor on it. So uh, this will be our third or fourth of the season right mm-hmm. now. But those are the bets. Those are the lock of the night. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. And again, Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. you got to go check it check it out. They're here for you 24-7 covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. And thank you again so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow. Peace. My son had a gift with technology. With reliable internet at home through the Internet Essentials Program, the world opened up. He's part of this next generation of young people who feel they can thrive. Through Project Up, Comcast is committing $1 billion to help open doors for the next generation with the connectivity and skills they need to build a future of unlimited possibilities. The Locked On NHL Podcast. Can't get enough of the NHL? Locked On NHL is your answer. Stay up to date on the biggest stories, the best rivalries, and the top stars around the league. Every win, every team, every day. Listen to Locked On NHL. Available on YouTube or wherever you get podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team, every day. The Monday edition of Locked On NHL is a must-listen. Every Monday on Locked On NHL, host Gil Martin takes you to the three biggest NHL stories from the weekend's games with the local experts of the Locked On Podcast Network. No national fluff. You get the real story from the Locked On experts who are with the team every day. Put it on your calendar every Monday on Locked On NHL. Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day.